my coffee table is looking for the summer and I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit so that is what we're going to do today we're going to play around with some items for the coffee table we're going to take a few things off and then I have this really pretty horse statue that I picked up from Overstock he was in my entryway, and I thought, what if I bring him in here for a little pop of color? I think I like it, but I think I also, I don't know, need some greenery on here. What do you think? Then it would be too crowded if I put some greenery on there, but... Um, let me know what you think. What do you think of this look? Leave me a comment down below and let's take a closer look. the horse head is looking on the coffee table sorry about the glare it's not the best light in here um I think I like it but I think we can do better so let's try something else All 
right, so here is how the uttermost pieces are looking here in the tray. And I don't know, I think I need to push this one back a little more. And yeah, I think that looks a little better. So this is how they are looking. I absolutely love them. I picked these up from Ashley Furniture um, online. And they were a little pricey. I'm gonna say they were like $129. They also have a black pair that I absolutely love. And I'll put up a photo here and I am just waiting for them to go on sale or where I can find them for a hundred dollars or less, but I absolutely love these and I think they make the perfect addition to my summer living room styling. But is it too plain? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at another look. I have swapped out the statues and put in a floral arrangement and guys I think I am loving the floral arrangement here in this space something very simple yet classic and modern you know I like to bring in greenery so the greenery is perfect here for the for the space along with these white roses that I picked up from Walmart these tulips actually came from Michaels a few years ago. Again, just a simple floral arrangement I have put together, and I think it is the perfect addition here for summer. All right, so we are using this oversized tray to corral everything, and I think one of the tips I would give you is you can put lots of little things on your coffee table, but it helps if you can also put them in a tray. So I use this tray here year round. I do not take it off. And for the most part, nothing changes. Um, it pretty much stays the same except for I will switch out um, the statement piece. And for this look, the statement piece is this floral arrangement. But we also have these coffee table books. Um, the elements of style came from Amazon the Tom Ford book. I want to say it came from Amazon. It's not really a book. It's just a decorative piece. My black coasters came from TJ Maxx. My um, candle wick cutter, my snuffer, and my lighter came from Amazon. I also like to use matches to light a candle. So these candles came from Amazon. And this piece is a match striker, which I absolutely love, but it doesn't strike matches. <laughs> so basically it's just a decorative piece and it came from CB2, but I love the way this looks here in my living room. So that's why it never changes. 
only the statement piece changes for the season. So um, you might not use a tray and you might switch things around more frequently than I do, but I just don't believe that you need to do that all the time. Um, really the books stay here all the time. The coasters are new. This piece um, that came from CB2 I've had for a few months now. And then like I said, the simple statement piece rotates in and out, but I still think I still think it gives a glam and elegant look to the space and I absolutely love it. So I think I am going to go with this look instead. And as you can see, I have the black face over there with the greenery that I had earlier. I had it sitting on the table for summer, so they coordinate well together in the space and I absolutely love it. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite look. One, two, or three. Mine is absolutely number three. But leave me a comment down below, let me know. I did like the horse as well. And I don't know, maybe if I had some greenery with it, it would look a lot better. But I would need something small um, because you can't have two large things on a tray. So I think this absolutely works the best. But leave me a comment down below, let me know your thoughts. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if it is your first time here, hello, my name is Cheryl. I love decorating with style on a budget, and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. And one of the ways I do that is by de budget decor shopping. So if you are into home decor and budget home decor shopping, and you want to get that luxe look for less, this is the channel for you. For example, this vase came from Goodwill. I believe I paid $1.99 for it. These uh, florals, the granary came from um, Amazon. I wanna say it was less than $6 maybe 12, I don't exactly remember, but I will leave it linked in the description box down below because I absolutely love decorating with it. I think it looks very luxe. Again, the florals, as I said, came from Walmart. The roses were $3, a stem, there are two in here, and the tulips came from Michael's, and it was when they were on clearance, and I wanna say they were like 80% off, um, so very cheap again but they look very high end so looks and i absolutely love it so if you enjoy budget decorating make sure you subscribe tap the notification bell let's take one last look at our coffee table tray stylings and i hope to see you in the next one